Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so we will be picking up a little bit on the Duna station. Let me just, there we go. That is beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to be picking up on the Duna station construction. Now, for those of you new, I'm pretty sure you're wondering, this is obviously not Duna, so where is the Duna station? If you haven't seen it before, go back all the way far back into my episodes and you'll be able to watch the Duna station. Now, this is kind of a two-part launch, and a lot of this stuff for the station is going to be basically a bunch of two parts two or three different sections all added together because I'm trying to save room for extra stuff that I think I should bring along or possibly bring along. I'm not really sure on everything I want to bring. Oh god. There we go. Get rid of that. I'm not really sure of everything I want to bring as of yet. There are certain things that I am still kind of wondering whether or not I should bring. One of them being an asteroid capturing type of device or something along the lines we surely have enough fuel to definitely do some asteroid captures around Duna um, I think I have about the last time I really checked I think I had about four or five orange tanks worth of fuel out there so that should be more than sufficient to really do some damage on the asteroid front but I'm not 100% certain. Oh my god. This thing is getting all wobbly. I hope it doesn't fall apart. That would not be nice or very good. There we go. Just get this lined up a little bit better. So yeah, I have a few more things planned for launch, at least for the station. I kind of want to get the main purpose of this next Duna 9 part mission. I've planned it to be a 9 rocket mission kind of like my last one everything's gonna go there basically in one big shot so uh you know that's gonna take me a little bit of while uh, you know to get everything configured exactly the way i want it and i think we're probably dragging some dead weight yeah there we go get rid of that but let's just make sure um i did not do the staging on this 100%. Just making sure that uh, everything is good. Oh, God, we need to be turning over. Holy crap. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so, yeah, I didn't really um, plan on it being a 9 rocket mission, but I kind of really want to just... The main purpose of this is to get the space station up in 100% exactly the way I want it. I already have basically a very crude, very, very crude uh, overview of how I want the station to look. So usually with somewhat big builds, especially stations and stuff like that, I kind of go and just build them in the VAB just to see, you know, basically what I want and how it's going to turn out and what it's going to look like and just all that jazz because I, I really don't like doing guesswork. And I really don't just like launching stuff just for the sake of launching it. And then once you have it up into orbit or whatever, then you just kind of figure it out there. Because half the time that stuff really does not turn out as well as it's supposed to. So I, I used to do that in the past where I would just kind of launch stuff. And I, I would just kind of guess and go, hey, well, you know, that's going to look pretty good on there, I guess. Um, the other thing I was considering is possibly another Duna base but you know once again it's up in the works I'm not really sure how I'll set it up uh, what kind of base it will be how big it's going to be uh, I have a few slots open basically for stuff to launch that I really don't know what else I'm going to put there otherwise I'm up to I believe about seven rockets something like that so We'll have seven separate launches, but I think we'll be able to get by without all, you know, with some other stuff here. I, I, there are, one of them being the asteroid capture, the other one possibly being another base. That one I'll leave up to you guys. I'll have to do some really crazy stuff because if I'm going to get a base there all in one rocket, 
I'm basing it off of rockets, and I only want to have nine. That's all I can, I, that's all I really want to have, because when I do the video, if you guys go back to, I think it's like my hundredth episode, or something along the lines of that, uh, I actually, I don't think it was the hundredth. I, it was like the Duna Extravaganza, or something like that. I broke it up into nine separate windows with nine separate, you, you guys could see all nine of them going at the same time. That was probably the most annoying thing to ever set up, but it really turned out awesome at the end, so. But uh, I'm going to try to set that up again and get that going, and uh, it, yeah, that's about as far as I can go with that. Um, as far as the featuring people thing, um, I really want to mention this because I do do this compared to most YouTubers who don't. If you know anybody who I should feature, in my videos or anything like that, please feel free to let me know, send me an email, leave a comment, do something. I, I always read my comments. I might not respond back to them, you know, within the day or two that you've posted them or what have you, but definitely leave a comment. Throw me some kind of message saying, hey, feature this guy, or I know of this person, or what have you. Um, I really do appreciate everyone's cooperation with that kind of stuff because when I, you know, when I was a smaller channel, I would have really appreciate appreciated it if moderate-sized channels or other people, you know, gave me a little bit of a break, and I don't mind giving other people a break. For the longest time, no, I've been featuring Nothy Games, and it's not that I have anything against him, but I've been featuring him for like six months now, and it's just, you know, it's not that I don't want to feature him anymore or I hold any kind of animosity towards him, but I feel like it's kind of my duty to help out other channels, and so if you guys know anybody, really feel free to let me know, and I will definitely get on top of that I'm gonna start kind of getting more involved again like I used to be so you know I might as well start getting all this stuff going again so let's see the one thing I will cover uh, on this launch here uh, I'm gonna cover a good portion of it but I'm just trying to get us into orbit right now which isn't going to take as much longer Wow, that really sank down. I did not know it was that low. Well, let's just get this up a little bit more, and then I'm just going to get rid of this ascent stage, and I think we'll be okay. So the other thing, too, uh, I haven't really been busy with my uh, telescope, which I kind of planned on being a little bit more involved with my telescope. The, the only problem I've been encountering is the fact that Living in New York, there really isn't a lot of uh, clear nights, so that, that's just kind of the main issue, at least for right now. I haven't really encountered any nights where they have been perfectly clear and where I've been able to really go out there and just stay out for a good couple hours. Usually there's some kind of interruption or something's going on, so... I'll get rid of this. We really don't need this. I will be adding another stage onto here, and this fuel is pretty much expendable as it is. So let's get rid of this. Just make sure the staging's all right. Check that one more time. Perfect. God, that's awesome. So I don't th even think I'm going to push us away or anything like that. But the one thing I will cover, my it was like a couple episodes back, I did launch a very basic uh, docking module for the station. I redesigned that, so I got rid of that and I went with something like this. This one is going to be dedicated towards a smaller size docking port, but the, uh, the other two, it has the same amount of docking ports. I just wanted to make it a little bit smaller. This station is going to be a little bit more compact than the uh, Kerbal Space Station, so it's going to be a little bit different. A little bit. There's going to be more bells and whistles, but it's going to be a little bit smaller of a package. So I got pretty much most of the stuff I wanted. I got the Cop Coppola module, which I really wanted, and all of this stuff. 
Uh, most of the stuff is already there as far as, uh, you know, basically the main portion of the station is already at Duna. So that that's where I'll leave it at that. So we got this launched, and uh, there's going to be about three or four more launches for the Duna station, at least for right now. But, yeah. So, anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.